Okay, I'm back again to do um, another unboxing. So if you caught my last video, um, I unboxed uh, one of my orders from the AliExpress sale and it was a, two custom paintings. Uh, they both came in one square box. It was from the, I think it's the AZQSD store. Um, and so I'll, I opened up one of the paintings that was the Wizard of Oz custom that I had done. And my daughter Emily helped out and uh, she helped me open that one up, but I decided to hold uh, for the second one because the kids were getting a little excited. Um, and I watched the playback of it and we banged the camera a bunch of times, so sorry about that. So we're gonna try and get through this one here. Um, it is another very large painting and you probably caught a glimpse of it and she was very excited, excited for it. It is a custom I had done of Mary Poppins. So my two girls love Mary Poppins. So we're hooked right now on the Mary Poppins Returns movie. They, gosh, we must have seen it 500 times. The, my oldest, she's seven. She knows pretty much the soundtrack word for word. I loved Mary Poppins as a kid. So um, I was looking for something that I would be able to put up in the house. So this is a uh, 50 by 70 and it's gonna be 45 colors. So you get your separate paper with the legend. We're gonna put that aside and we'll go through the gems in a moment. Uh, you get the standard toolkit with the pink pen, uh, single placer, three placer, and I believe a nine placer, a large square of wax, some tweezers, and then the clear boat with a, with a spout. Okay. And I'm gonna put the, here's the gems, I'm gonna put them aside. We'll take a look at those in a second. And the painting, just like the other one, is wrapped in this clear plastic wrap. I did notice, so I'm hoping everything's good, there is one small little crease or dent right here. Oh, and actually I just noticed there's another one right there. So we'll take a look. So I picked this one out, so it says in the background, um, spit, spot, and off we go. So I have a spot for it actually by our front door. I'll toss that to the side. I'm gonna grab my blade. Let's see if I can cut this open without damaging anything. And peel the tape off. So just like the last one, this is really tightly wound. So we're gonna roll it the opposite direction. Let's see, just to try to loosen it up. I wanna be gentle with it. I don't wanna force it too much. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be huge. I'm really happy with it though. So um, I have to say, and I'm not, I can't remember if I said it in my last video. So this was the AZQSD store. Hold on. Fluorescent green roller again. Um, and when I was sending them the, so I got three customs. And when I was sending them the images, they were so good about it. She got back to me right away. She sent me, I asked her, you know, what size would you recommend? And she would, she came back with sizes for the three paintings like instantly. And when I say instantly, I, I mean, you gotta keep in mind, they're on a different time zone than us, right? So sometimes when I was messaging with her, if it was really early in the morning, cause I'm a morning person, I would get the message, um, a response right away from her. Or if it was really late at night, I would get a message. But you gotta remember in the middle of the day here for us or here for us in Canada, um, it's nighttime for them. So she got back to me right away. She um, suggested sizes and I, um, I went with the, the size down. And then she was, when I said, you know, I'm thinking about going the size down for them. I don't know if I really need it that large. She came back right away and um, sent me then the paintings worked out in the smaller size that I was thinking about getting. So I mean, she was amazing. Okay. So I'm not sure which direction this is going in. So there's a little wrinkle right here. Okay, so this is gonna be the bottom of the painting. So I could have, because the painting is a large image, 
I could have, I think I could have gone a bit smaller, but I decided to go quick big, uh, quick big, pretty big because I wanted the floral detail in her outline to come out really well. Cause to me, that was the whole uh, fun of it um, with the concept of her carpet bag and the magic of that. So I'm gonna pull it down a bit. And what I'm gonna do actually is I'm only gonna open it up this much. Um, we'll take a look at the symbols. We'll take a look at the legend. And then I'm going to take it down to the floor and open, up, open it up fully so you guys can see the full image of it. So the painting was covered with the white papers and then it's cut into five strips. Um, the painting is gonna go this way, so it's gonna go length, lengthwise, but the symbols, um, the direction of the canvas to work on it is actually going to be this way. So, let me show you. Let's see if I can pull this up. So if you look at it there, like the E, is facing that direction, even though the canvas, the image goes this way. I hope that makes sense. So from this short little peek, it looks pretty good. I'm excited to open it up fully though. Got loose hair here. Okay, so I'm gonna put you guys on pause and I'm gonna go lay it out on the floor and then I'll hold you guys out for it. Okay, so I have it all pulled back. So here's a picture of the full canvas. So as you can see in the background, it says spit, spot, and off we go. You have Mary Poppins there in the forefront. And then her silhouette is done with that flower pattern with the leaves. And that's what I really wanted to make sure the detail came out. And then the whole background of the painting is a, like it's, it should be soft greens with like a faded flower pattern. If you look at the background, oh sorry, the background at the bottom there, let's see, right down here. So this is gonna be the silhouettes of the buildings with the chimney sweeps dancing across them right here. So you get the four guys. Oh, I think it's gonna be perfect. I'm so happy with it and I'll insert a photo here. Okay. And let me bring you down to get the symbol quality. The canvas is in perfect shape. So there were those couple dents, but it didn't affect anything. And then the symbol clarity is awesome. So I'm gonna get it folded up and then we'll take a look at the legend. Okay, so down the side here, it gives you the painting code and you've got the little um, image there. I'm gonna try not cheek you guys too much. So here is the legend. So the symbols look really good. They're all similar ones that I've worked with. Number 17 looks fancy. But everything else looks pretty good. Forty-five colors, fifty by seventy. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the drills next, and I'll be back. Okay, so I thought it'd be fun. Let's go through the gems together. Let me just get them out. the plastic bag aside. So uh, if you caught my last video, you'll notice that I realized halfway through sorting through the colors that the codes on here is the number that it is on the legend, the DMC code, and how many gems are in the bag. So we'll just sort out the numbers here. So for me, I know a lot of people talk about like doing inventory. It's a lot of work. Um, even the process of setting up the paintings, it can be tedious, but for me, I actually enjoyed the whole, uh, the whole process of diamond painting. I feel the organization of it is really therapeutic. Um, I find it 
fun to, to sort them out. And then when I go to set up a new painting, um, to be able to put those colors in the, oops, loose gem, to put them in their little containers to get ready. So I find the whole thing um, fun. And while some of it's maybe a little more tedious than others, uh, I try to embrace each step. Oh, another loose gem. Put it over here. So there we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna try and find six. Uh, I find having these numbers on here actually awesome. It's really helpful. Although I do miss my daughter being my little helper. She seems to spot these numbers like that. And here I am. Oh, that's nine. 25, six. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight. Let's move this into frame so you can see what I'm doing. And we'll hold up some of the colors after. Okay, so that's our first row and we're up to eight. And I just had nine in my hot little paws. Nine. And 10. Um, I do like having the gems in the little baggies like this. There's 10, 10's a big boy. That is a really pretty color. It's like a soft lilac. Oh, it's a pretty. Okay, so 10. Sorry, I got distracted. 10. Um, 11. 14. Okay. And now we need 15. So many beautiful greens in this. Let's see, that's going to be the background. All these different greens. 15, 16, 16, that's 18, 19. Where's 17? 9, 30, 17, 18, 19, and now we need 20, 21, that one's already 21, uh, 21, 22, Twenty-three, twenty-four, um, twenty-five, twenty-six. So for me, I don't know if I've mentioned before, um, I like doing both rounds and square paintings. So I don't have a preference. So I noticed that some people, of course, have a preference over whether they like doing uh, the rounds versus the square. I actually like doing both and I like them for different reasons. Um, some paintings I think sparkle and shine and look so much better when it's the um, round, camp, uh, round drills. And the square I find gives a more filled in finished look so depending on what kind of painting I'm doing will depend on what type of um, drill I get. So I'm not really particular. The only thing I personally do like, uh, like doing, 34, is I like switching it up. So 
if I do a square painting, the next one I would pick to do in my queue is probably going to be, um, I can't remember what I said, but I normally go round, square, round, square. Um, and that way I just keep a variety going for me. I do also find like squares are gonna take a little bit more concentration uh, than doing uh, a round painting. So I like that break. Four, four, five. Um, I like that break in between them, but um, it keeps it interesting for me. So I rotate between the two, um, depending on the painting will depend on what I want to get. So for something like this, this is a square I picked out. I want it to be filled in. I didn't want a background with it. Um, so all my colors are here, just like the last painting. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Actually, let's pick a color that will show up. Okay. The gems, focus, look to be in really good shape. So I don't see a lot of tabs on the ends. And they look to be pretty uniform in shape. So I know it will, it'll be hard to tell un until the painting's done, uh, whether how they're gonna lay and what my popping drill situation is gonna be. But I mean, these colors, I mean, greens is definitely a big decorating color for me. So the shades in here are stunning. And this I, I presume is gonna be like for the lettering, for the spit spot and off we go. 3865. So it's a nice white, but it definitely, to me, it does definitely does have an undertone of uh, of green. I said earlier, this lilac color, this late lilac color. Oh, melts me. Love it. Okay, so everything looks to be here. Um, I have a few more paintings I'm still waiting to be delivered. She did communicate with me that due to the size of, size of the order that I placed, it would be coming a multiple shipment. So this is my first one that I got in and I'm just waiting for uh, five more paintings, but two of them are not for me. They're for a friend I said I would order for him. Um, so this is my Mary Poppins spit spot and off we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back with uh, another unboxing shortly. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope everyone has a great day and see you all soon.